Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for the sign of Libra. This is for the week of the 25th through the 31st of May, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I didn't know when that fell out because I was looking at the calendar. Uh, so that fell out. So this is for the week ahead for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now the Nine of Cups reversed is dissatisfied over a situation. So you may not be happy about something. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's it's not going to get better. Because it looks like there's an op when you get the Nine of Cups, there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. But um, you may not be exactly where you want to be. So, uh, deep fulfillment is coming, all right? It's coming. You may be deepening a bond right now. You might not be exactly where you want to be, but the bond is deepening, okay? So, anyway, we're doing the week ahead for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Now this is at the beginning of the week. You're dissatisfied. Something isn't happening. There's a stalemate. Things are slow. Very, very, or if not moving at all, something isn't happening the way that you'd like. There could be a lack of, of, of uh, money. You know, maybe you don't got enough money or you're waiting for some sort of payout. You've been praying for more money or you've been praying for something and it's just not happening. There's a delay. Um... But, you know, in this, with the, with the, uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed, there's, there's, uh, a lack, a lack of goals or jealousy. No long-term plan. Somebody's finances are not in the place that they want them to be, and so they're feeling really discontent and dissatisfied. Now, this could be unemployment, you know. Maybe if you're waiting for unemployment and it hasn't come, this is not happy about it. The Knight of Pentacles could also be an individual. It could be that just isn't making any moves. They're stalled. They're stopped it in their tracks. You aren't getting nothing from this person. <clears throat> Hey man reversed. So the hey man reversed is refusing to let go. Won't change. Won't go within. We won't see things from another perspective. So on Monday, we have a very stubborn, very stubborn energy where somebody is really struggling with wish fulfillment because they may be wishing for something that isn't feasible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tuesday. Monday's a day of being stuck. Seriously, being stuck. And, and, and being stuck because of the lack of... Um, ability to change, change your perspective. So there's, there's ego here and ego. There's definitely, you know, having somebody is fighting with their ego. There may, maybe there was a rejection, for example, or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. And somebody just, whoever's watching this will not accept and allow that there's a better opportunity for wish fulfillment. This person's got their arms crossed. It's like, nope, my mind is made up. This is what I want, and I'm not. I'm unwilling to change my mind. So Monday, somebody's unwilling to budge. They're unwilling to change their mind and see things differently. Therefore, they're missing another opportunity. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, there's your change. So this is positive change in direction, but fearful, needing to step into, needing to spin that wheel and step into with blind faith. So I feel like on Tuesday, um, things change. Things change. There's more of a positive outlook here. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is doing that. Now this is no faith. 
this is no faith, this is bad timing, you know, which is interesting. You may not want things to change, but on Tuesday, this is destined change. So here you're stagnant, you're unwilling, unwilling to see things differently, just really stuck in your thoughts, stuck in your ways. Tuesday, things start to change, but they're still fearful. There's still fear and needing to step forward with blind faith on Tuesday. Unprepared. Unprepared. You're unprepared for something on Tuesday. Unprepared for... Now, the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, you think about fortune, you know, this, whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune, I think of serendipity. Not always, but I just did here. So there could be something that happens that is that did happen. Something d isn't moving because th there's a reason, okay? There's a reason why. And on Tuesday, um, this, there, I don't know what is happening. This, is a, this could be like a fortunate accident where, you know, somebody trips or they fall or whatever. They run into somebody by mistake because this could be a mistake this is reckless behavior so on tuesday somebody could run into some, or something could happen that uh well, let's do one more card <sighs> something could happen that changes your direction on tuesday now the page of wands reversed I don't know if that's a child or an individual that you are dealing with that is very immature. This person is a Debbie Downer. You could be dealing with a Debbie Downer that is holding you back in some way. Or you're just not thinking positive. And, and I can see that as well. We have somebody here that is thinking very, very negative. This is, this is bad news or a setback making excuses, procrastinating. This is foolish behavior. So, on, you know... Which is interesting. We're having somebody that is needing to think more positive about the future. On Tuesday, there's a, there's a positive change. Something positive is coming, but there's negative thinking. And there's fear, which is interesting. So let's get another card for Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, life is, is changing, but there's... Um, you may be dealing with somebody that is very negative in your life. Could be an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius. But we have Aries a couple times. Does it have to be? It could be a family member. Um, this person um, is very negative. They may be naive. There's naive here. Ah, oh, heartache. Pain, grieving, suffering. So there's something happening on Tuesday with an individual that is causing you some grief. So yeah, you're going to be dealing with grief from an individual um, on Tuesday. It hurts. Whatever this person is doing or whatever is happening is going to cause you some sort of pain. And it and I don't, you know, it feels like... This is meant to be, and I know that no, that people think that, I mean, pain is what causes our evolution. It really does. It, it builds our character. It changes us. So whatever is happening is happening. It's part of the plan. It's destined, but it hurts. So on Tuesday, it hurts, and that's a fact of life, okay? So there's something, um, this is failure to launch, no growth. You know, this is this is tripping and falling or heading for a fall or something like that. The fool reversed. This is a naive individual that may um, fall on their face or something like that. And, and somehow they're hurting you. So be prepared. I feel like on Tuesday there's something that happens. It And it may not seem like it's a good thing. It may not, but when you get the Wheel of Fortune, everything happens for a reason. So that's interesting. Wednesday. Ooh. Wednesday. The Queen. Oh, no. Why did I say the Queen? The Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the World Reverse. So this is Wednesday. You have a new opportunity being presented to you. Something solid, secure, stable. 
um, something you can touch. You, you're going to be given an opportunity from, you know, that's the hand of God saying, here, I got something for you, something solid. This is a new opportunity. But you feeling betrayed or feeling at a loss or feeling like you need to protect yourself or you don't trust it. Somebody is going to be offering you something on Wednesday that you don't trust. Put it that way. You're going to be like, oh, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Um, perhaps this person lied to you in the past or something like that. You've been betrayed. and You've been betrayed and you don't believe them. You don't believe it. You got your guard up. Um, you may push these people away, maybe one or two people. You're going to be offered something that um, looks to be very real. It looks to be genuine. It looks. It could be money. It could be a gift. It could be um, a job. Whatever it is, you're going to be offered something on Wednesday. That is um, very tangible. You know, this is an opportunity that could lead to stability, right? It could lead to something um, great. It could. But I feel like there's a, there's a level of distrust. Um, I don't trust you. Um, what are the motives? There's some sort of ulterior motives and that's your fear. Okay, so on Wednesday, the world card reversed is lack of... of success there's been lack of success in the past with with whatever this type of thing is that you're being offered so you definitely are not going to trust it but the, then again the world card reverse is refusing to explore a new avenue still needing an attitude adjustment and with the next to the five of swords on wednesday somebody needs an attitude adjustment it's like being very stubborn, very stuck in your ways. Again, on Wednesday, we have somebody here that's being offered a new opportunity. This is the card of manifestation. They have manifested a new doorway. There's a new doorway that is open. It's like the God or a higher power is giving you a golden opportunity to go down a new path. Okay? They are. But there's, there's a feeling of... You know, I don't trust anybody. I don't want to go down that path. I want to keep doing what I've been doing. Um... I want to stay right here. I'm not going to change. So it's like on Wednesday, you're really being urged to go down that new path. And they got something big for you. It's like they show it to you. It's like, here it is. Here it is. But this is being stuck in the present. Refusing to go down that path. Refusing to listen to anyone. And we have an individual here that's refusing to listen to anyone. You have a big golden opportunity for success. But because of the stubbornness and not wanting to let go of the past, it's like you're missing an opportunity for success. Hmm. Wednesday, you're going to be given an opportunity, but I think that you're going to be shown an opportunity or given a gift or something from somebody that you don't trust. My advice is to... It feels like you need to give them a chance. Whatever that means. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. So Thursday, Thursday we have the Queen of Swords reversed, the Tower upright, and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So you must take action. You may be feeling a little alone, bitter, upset, 
or you're dealing with an individual that is hard to deal with. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, there is going to be some sort of disruption on Thursday or you may be feeling it on the inside. Uh, there's a need to take action. There's loneliness here as well. So there's loneliness on Thursday or um, feeling less than... stable, very insecure. So if you, dealing with your insecurities, okay? So you may be feeling angry and upset about a situation. Something may happen that causes, um, you know, a major breakdown. Now this is, the tower is um, a major disruption that you never saw coming that could cause you to become very upset. And it could also cost you some money, okay? There could be some financial impact here on Thursday. There could be something to do with your home. I'm not trying to scare you, but there could be something that happens that uh, costs you some money or just makes you feel insecure. Uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse can get very pissed off, can get very angry and, and um, say things that uh, they regret later. Uh, there could be an explosion of some sort on Thursday where, you know, there's a fight. There could be a fight, you know. Um, which makes you feel very, very, very insecure or upset or something like that. Um, now, this is a the tower is a is a major card. It's a universe. It's a universe card where the universe comes in and causes a disruption because life is meant to change. Something in your life needs to change. So on Thursday, you may be dealing with a disruption, and I think the disruption is within your uh, home or something like that. Um, somebody could be getting thrown out. Um, I'm not saying that is definitely going to happen, but it certainly could happen. Um, Thursday looks like it's going to be a rough day where uh, there's insecurities, okay? A lot of them with the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed and a need to have some sort of discipline. Um, you have to listen, you have to pay attention, you may be unwilling to listen, you may be unwilling to listen and you need to take a minute to listen to see what's going on. Um, we probably have an individual here that doesn't know their value with the Queen of, or the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse and so she's bitter, she's bitter, she's, she's, um, or she's not doesn't have enough money or there's some sort of financial stress and when there's financial stress it can impact the household or it can impact the um, you know on the inside the emotions per se anyhow I feel like Thursday is gonna be a very disruptive day something is gonna happen that may cost you some money and that may make you very 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 upset Okay, or somebody is dealing with a nasty individual. I'm not saying it's you. It could be. I don't know. That um, isn't paying. They aren't. They aren't paying up, or they aren't getting the money that they said they were gonna get, or that they were gonna give, or something. There's a financial issue on Thursday, which is causing a major upset. Put it that way. So Thursday, I feel like there's gonna be a disruption um, because of financial problems. Okay, it's it, and it's funny because you notice how I put the cards this week or this and for this reading. If you see where it's mirroring, this is refusing to see things from a new perspective. Earlier in the week carries over into Thursday. It's somebody needs to, you know, the tower is about starting with a clean slate, uh, false foundations crumbling and letting them crumble and starting over, building a foundation someplace else. So maybe you are being called to really build a foundation someplace else, but you're just refusing to budge. You're refusing to accept change. And I see that here. I do see that here. So Thursday is going to be a rough day of feeling disruption on the inside because there's a lack of financial gain. There is. There is. And it's like you get another opportunity here, but you don't take it. You don't take it. You know, you should be taking it. Which is interesting because Thursday you may, you know, you, you may be poked even harder. You may be poked even harder to accept change, which is interesting. 
So Friday, we have the Justice reversed, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So we have a very wounded individual here is fought, 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 fought a hard battle. But things not turning out in your favor with Justice reversed. There's imbalance here. There's a level of indecision. This is blocking the truth. And this is too. So it's unable to see the truth, avoiding the truth, avoid again. So we got, a, we got somebody here that... Um, is having to make a difficult decision. We got decisions both right here, but unwilling to trust, unwilling to try new things, um, being very guarded. Um, now the nine of wands in the upright, it's always expecting trouble, being defensive, you know, feeling like you're very alone, re repetitive as well, re repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. We have a very stubborn individual here this week that is unwilling to change. And that that unwilling to change is going to cause some internal disruption and and probably external disruption in your life. Because you're in the you're you're needing to look at things from a new perspective and refusing to do so. You know, refusing to open your eyes, blocking the truth, ignoring the truth, maybe in denial about a situation, okay? So, so on Friday, I feel somebody is, you know, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight, but but choosing to, it could be a, a day of defensiveness where you're defending yourself, you're feeling like you need to defend yourself, you're feeling um, like you're right by the looks of things, and you're unwilling to budge. Um, how? Now the justice reverse is, is like a court ruling or, you know, something not, it doesn't have to be court ruling. I'm just saying it could be something not going in your favor. Okay. And this is placing blame. It's like blaming somebody else. It's like always placing blame, you know, blaming somebody else for your shortfalls or they're blaming you or something like that. Um, so Friday, there's, there's, a uh, ignoring the truth, ignoring the truth, not wanting to see the truth, avoiding, avoiding, not wanting to make a decision, being defensive. You're going to be defending yourself and I'm not sure if you're going to court or not. Or if you're dealing with an individual who is causing you to be on defense, you definitely got somebody here that you are fighting with this week, that you are not really getting along with, that you are having a hard time uh, uh, accepting something about this person. I feel like it's a fire sign. I feel like it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of distrust here. And I think there's a there's an ongoing argument with this person in which, you know, you probably need to um, open your eyes. You need to really, really open your eyes and, and stop dealing with this person, whoever this person is. And this is and it feels like it's over money and it doesn't I don't know if it is over money or it's over security. You know, some sort of security. It could be financial security or something like that. There's definitely a fight going on this week. And by Friday, you know, you may want to cut your losses. You may want to cut your losses and um, stop working with this person. Because on Saturday, this is no no more. And this is the Three of Pentacles. I'm not working with you. There's no cut. There's no cooperation. There's a lack of respect. There's there's miscommunication. It's a dead end. There's there's no hope. There's no hope for renewal in this situation. So on Thursday or on Saturday, maybe that's what you start to realize. There's no hope. You know, this is it's over. This is the death of a situation. You may be extremely exhausted from fighting with this person, whoever this person is. You may give up and decide you're not going to uh, fight anymore. You're going to accept the new opportunity, you know, that has been given earlier in the week. I feel like you, you know, it's definitely going to be a week of, I'm sorry, of struggle and dealing with an individual that has presented you with something that is false. It's a false sense of security that you have been hanging on to. 
And I think you're going to have to open your eyes. And I think that by the end of the week, you're going to start to give up on this situation that you have been fighting. It's like you've been fighting with this person, fighting with this person, and fighting with this person. And I think it's, that you've been fighting with this person because maybe you've been trying to prove yourself, trying to prove your point, right? And this person is unwilling to see your point, right? They don't, they don't see it your way. You don't see it their way. And so there's really... No resolution in, in sight. And I think you're hurt over it. Maybe your ego, maybe your pride is hurt. This could be a friend. It could be a friend. could be a family member. I don't know who it is. But I feel like it's an extremely challenging week where you might be like, Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. This person won't listen to me. Well, I think it's a two-sided situation. I don't think you'll listen to them either. So I think that's where the struggle lies. Where as, as whoever you're dealing with thinks that they're right and you think that you're right. So there's no resolution in sight. So I feel like this week is going to be a little bit of a back and forth with an individual that you should probably just, you know, cut your losses and uh, let them win. Seriously, let them win. You know, I feel like, I feel like, uh, you know, middle of the week, this, this person may, may, you know, talk to you about, um, money you know they talk to you about money or they talk to you about maybe they even apologize or something like that they give you something they give you something um and you but you don't trust them and there's a reason why you don't trust them because they've they've misled you in the past they have we, you know they don't they don't really tell the truth very often or something like that or they want to win at all costs and they don't care who they hurt and i think that you're just sick of it. I do. I feel like you're sick of it. I see, feel like you're tired of it. You're exhausted and you're fed up by Friday or Saturday. This is Saturday. And you're just like, you know what? I give up. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to talk with you. I don't want to, there's no compromising here. This is over. It's done. It's a dead end. You know? So I think by, by Saturday you just give up. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, And on Sunday, because you do that, because you decide not to give this person, you know, you take a time out. By Sunday, you're moving in a different direction. You're mastering your emotions. You're taking back control. You're finding peace. You're finding happiness. You're, you're listening to your gut. You're being being you're being you know she's very receptive she's she's i am i am successful i am happy you know by by sunday i feel like you are in control you're in control of your emotions you're 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 realizing who you are you're realizing your ability to be successful she's very receptive i feel like on sunday you're leaving this bullshit behind. You notice it's over here. It's not. It's separating yourself from the situation. I think Sunday, you're you're um, back in the driver's seat. You're back in control of your emotions. You may be going for a ride. You may be traveling somewhere. Maybe it's to visit somebody in your family. You may be going to visit somebody in your family by Sunday. A family member. Maybe it's a mother. Maybe it's a sister. I feel like Sunday is a day of taking back control, finding peace, finding a resolution within yourself, within yourself, by yourself. It's like you're going to be at peace with this situation. You're in control and you're not going to let this animosity keep you back. It's like, you know what? I know who I am. I'm, be I'm better than this. And I'm just going to be happy. Sunday's a good day, thank God. It's a day of exploring. It's a day of...
receiving messages as well because the high priestess receives messages. Listening to your gut. Realizing your goals. Sunday you're realizing your goals. Sunday's a very happy, happy, happy day where you're just at ease. You're in control. You're in the driver's seat. You're going someplace. You're going. Maybe you're taking a ride. You're taking a ride with your family or with somebody that you love. Or you're going to visit somebody. So overall, I feel like this is a tough week. It's a week where, you know, you're dealing with an individual where there's no resolution in sight. This this person, I think it's a family member, I don't know, or a friend, a family member or a friend. And there's a, it's like it's a fight over money or something like that. Um, and I feel like the, whoever, it causes a major internal disruption within you, whatever this fight is about. And it, it makes you feel insecure. It makes you feel alone. It probably pisses you off to no avail. Um, and I feel like you you just you come to the point that you know you can't deal with this person anymore. You can't trust this person, and you decide to give up. I think that you've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to work with this person, but by the end of the week, you're free. I feel like you're free. It feels like your gut has told you what to do, and you do it, and you and you find peace. It's like it's like a big shift. It's like you separate yourself from the situation, and on Sunday, you're at peace. You're you're moving in a new direction. You're in the lead. You're in the driver's seat. You're going someplace, and you're. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I feel like it's a beautiful day. You get outside. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else for me to say other than good luck.